What's up, good people? This is you. And as we look at the tape, this video is for, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blink on the name here. My bad, man, my bad. <laughs> anyway, I was asked about Otaha AS um, by, what is it, Swee, Swee Boss? I'm pretty sure it used to be under a different name. Um, then again, I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, that's, I'm going to just say MP here, <clears throat> right? Because I, I believe that's what I'm used to seeing. Anyway, what we're talking about here is Otaha. All right, I just had to switch things real quick so that uh, I'm not getting notifications. But anyway, this is the team comp I actually just put together for her. Um, now, my primary use for Otaha actually has to do with these encounter badges, right? So, because I know she's going to replenish HP and MP by 15%, okay? After each victory, okay? Um, I just threw on some encounter badges. And I, most of the time, I would flip-flop, right? <clears throat> if I'm running, say, like, in Trana or... Um, uh, Omegaopolis in particular is where I was using her the most, um, or other areas, say like Curio's dungeon or Mayu's dungeon, for example, then she'd be in the party to help replenish the MP that was being used, all right? Now, obviously, we have people like Valette, Tuva, Melfi, right, who make it so that that first turn, it's zero MP, but still, before that, Ota AS was pretty much used for that, all right? So in mo most days, in most cases, especially now, like when running like the latest part of the story dungeons, right? Um, she isn't really needed, okay? Because of, um, you know, like the team comes I'm using to clear those areas, right? If I have Philmina, like the water team I use for in Toronto, for example, I have a video on that, right? It's a zero MP attack with Philmina ES, you know what I mean? So, and that's pretty much that. And then, of course, the quick tip here is have a character that you switch styles and you already have them equipped with, say, things like Encounter Plus badges or Encounter Minus badges. That way, you know, if you want to grind for materials or grass and things of that nature, it's a simple switch. And then you're free to just run the clears like you normally would. You know what I mean? So just a quick hat tip there. But this video here is about overall damage here. So... This is my team here, um, Mayumpha, right? Um, and her the, the obvious goal here is to power Otaha. Yifa here to do the exact same thing. So I don't know how big of a damage increase that would actually be. Radius is here for a few reasons. One, to set pain. Second reason, to um, um, enter into the slash zone, all right? Akane and Shion, they just hold Grasta, so... For Akane here, max HP, right? She's holding Rasta for Otaha. Same with Shion here. He's just a cat lover, right? And then the items here for Otaha. As you can see, we don't even have, like, power badges on her. You know what I mean? Um, or anything. These just encounter minus badges. Her skills here that we're going to use. And then her Grasta are pretty much the typical pain poison setup. So we have power of agony with bullseye, power of pain, MP consumption, power of pain, another power of pain here all right and we're gonna just take on the bags and we have kumos as well you know for mp so i could simply do say this first skill i'm gonna do faith on her and then do absorb blood Right, so not much in regards to damage on that first hit. Okay. And I'm going to go with please. And we're going to go ahead and set the slash zone here. Okay, I was hoping for radius to act first. I didn't think Otaha would actually act. But as you can see, she pretty much obliterated, you know the bags easily on our own by the second turn 
Um, so there's not much left for me to do here other than let Otaha pretty much finish up the job she started. You know what I mean? Um, I can just leave this as is. Right? I don't know if she's hitting the damage cap because it's like two or three attacks. But as we can see, that worked out pretty damn good. You know, um, I'm curious to see how this would actually do against Vars here, who just became everybody's punching bag. Um, let's see. Again, same same deal here. Now this may be a bit challenging because I know Vars he may act, and I don't know how big of a barrier that's gonna be. So we'll see. Oh, then we got nothing to worry about then. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit please. And I don't, I don't even know if the zone is even necessary at this point. Yeah, I don't even know. Let's do it zoneless. No, she's not hitting the damage cap. For anybody wondering. And we'd probably do more damage. Because I believe this is an Earth unit. Right? He does Earth-based damage. Um, let's see. Take this. I believe that was the damage cap in that first hit. But now we have a zone here. Right? And as you can see... She's the only one actually doing damage right now. So, and notice I'm not using any of these other skills. It's just using this first one here. Okay. Um, I don't know what these other skills actually do. We'll see. We will see. And then, of course, there's another auto skill that's going to be used here. I kind of wish it was end of turn. That'd be awesome, but it's all right. There it is again. All right, so this is just one team comp here. When I took on the, um, I think I mentioned, like, Ukwaji, right? When I took them on, the team I used is actually completely different, where... Obviously, we didn't have Naumfa, so I had uh, Perfection in the party, right? But that was pretty much the only difference, you know what I mean? I threw in Perfection here. Now it's like a just-in-case to swap the weaknesses and whatnot. Um, and then Surge, you know, once Perfection did his job, I VC, vc him out for Surge to set, you know, a zone, you know? And then um, after that, nothing really changed. You know, same skills. <laughs> this is, you know what I mean? So she does a sizable amount of damage, really, automatically as well. The thing, though, is just keeping her alive, you know? So pairing her up with, say, someone who makes it so that you don't really have to worry about dying um, in this case. So Mayumfa, you know, or any other user that has, like, the guard ability, um, like a... Alma, another style, or Radius, another style. Those would actually help, all right? Um, but so far, I mean, she's pretty damn good, in my opinion, um, as far as damage goes. The thing is, though, like I said, based on her skill set, it's one of those things where it's useful against characters who, like, say, say you have, like, a three-stage boss fight, you know what I mean? Um, think, like, say, Battle Simulator, I believe. It transfers from fight to fight so if you kill the thing in first turn then the second turn she acts again kill it again you know what i mean or against uh what was that damn i forget the name of the enemy you know the one where you start off fighting aldo and then it changes to something else um i think it's end up, end up being like prying them and then changes again to another batch of people right she's useful there i forget the name of that boss it was so long ago but 
So he has her usage there as well. Um, and then obviously, like I said, against the Ukwaji clan here, um, she worked pretty damn good as well, you know? So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, haven't tested her in a like earth zone either. So that's another thing worth mentioning here. Um, and worth testing if you guys plan on getting her. Like I said, she's pretty good for what she does, right? Like I don't use her for damage anymore. But when she came out and I got her, yeah, I was using her for a couple of different fights, actually. Um, and like I said, that skill is done automatically. And I don't know if, like, her MP drops because she's still at 614. So if I were to get rid of Kumos here, just for testing purposes here, and then go up against these bags again. And I'll just use please. We'll use this here. Right? Because she's at 6. 614 right now. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So this should drop quite a bit. Blessings upon you. At 509. I don't know if every time she does that, it's going to zap her MP. And we're about to find out. Nope, doesn't take any of her MP. As you can see, she's still at 509. You know what I mean? So I guess that's good, you know? And plus, like, if you use her in dungeons where she's, like, clearing the fights, she's actually regaining MP every time, <laughs> every time the fight's over. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just something worth uh, mentioning here. So not bad okay so but yeah that's pretty much it for this one again that's otaha as all right and get out of here otaha as all right and again like i said we don't even have power badges or anything like that on her um so there's obviously different badges that would actually benefit her damage you know what i mean so we probably could have cleared that in like one turn if i gave her more stuff um like say this here you know, power 30, MP consumption, minus 15, right? Damage per light ally. Ooh, I wonder what that would actually do. Let's give it a shot here. I don't know how much damage that would actually be. Because if you think about it, this entire party is made up of light allies. You know what I mean? So let's see how much damage would that be? We've still got to do faith what not so maybe not as much Blessings upon you. Take this. that was nothing wow let's go ahead and do that again no point in using this dazzling stance you know what I mean let's see yeah it'll still be like two or three turns all right, which is fine. You know what I mean? So. Testify. But at least we know she can clear them. You know what I mean? So other than that, that's pretty much it for, like I said, I mean, I keep saying that, but yeah, that's Otaha, another style. All right. Outside of using her regen ability here. You know, that's pretty much her damage. You know what I mean? Like I said, you could probably do more with her. With the more supports that we now have, like we have Earth Zone support now. Um, I mean, I should say we always had Earth Zone support, but we got more support for Earth units, which is good. Um, and things like that. We got new Rasta as well that we can also use and things of that nature. All right. So that's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will talk to you all later.